Samsung held its big flagship event to unveil new hardware this morning. Ron Richards and myself were on hand covering the announcement live. And there was a lot of stuff, a lot of announcements throughout the show this morning, probably about an hour, hour and a half long event. Samsung was relatively restrained. They've had issues in the past of totally going big and 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 crazy with their events. They peeled it back. I, I give them props for that. They've been doing good with that uh, lately. But here's what Samsung showed off first. The eagerly anticipated, if not totally leaked already, Galaxy S8 uh, with a 5.8-inch display for the S8. And then the S8 Plus is a larger 6.2-inch display. Scratch that. Infinity display as Samsung put it, which is basically new marketing around what it used to call its edge display. So it's kind of like the curved off the sides sort of thing, kicking out the bezels as they showed in their promo video. Uh, the home button, which has become a signature of, of their design, is no longer evident. It's no longer shown as a hardware button on the front, as you can see here, but it's moved behind the front display similar in ways to Apple's 3D touch. So it's pressure sensitive. So you press in the glass where you know the home button is, and the harder you press, the more uh, it, it's going to register that. That's always on and always active waiting for your uh, for your press. Uh, the phone's design is rounded. It's curved uh, throughout with an improved front-facing camera, iris scanning, facial recognition, and the company uh, also touted its new 10 nanometer uh, processor for better efficiency and power in a smaller uh, space. So I think the phone looks really nice. It, I think it's a sharp looking device and I can't wait to get my hands on it. Plus you can get it in or orchid gray. Orchid gray, or I know. Otherwise you... known as purple. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, they all they always have to come up with their crazy names for these colors. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. You, you wish you had orchid gray. I do wish I had an orchid gray, but only I would know because I put a case on it. So as That's you true. should- as well, well, that's the thing, right? Like this thing is curved all around, glass everywhere. Like, oh, it's it's kind of a nightmare for me, a uh, nightmare scenario. I I would destroy that thing in a heartbeat. So I have a question for without you. Without a case. Um, every year, usually they announce the new Samsung flagship phone um, in you know at the same time as Mobile World yeah. Congress. They put it off a little, and then there's all these headlines. Ah, oh, it's going to kill the iPhone. This is the phone that's going to you know do in Apple. And then, you know, a few months later, they announce the new iPhone and everyone, you know, forgets and it doesn't, in fact, kill the iPhone. Mm -hmm. Is that an accurate description? I mean, does it feel like deja vu? Does it feel like they say that every year? I mean, I think I think people do say that. I think it's a, it's a great way to get people to read articles and everything to say <laughs> yeah. that. Like, I mean, the reality is that there are people that are Samsung that will always be Samsung. There are people that are iPhone or iOS that will always be iOS. And then there are people that will float between the two. Mm -hmm. I don't think that there will be one that rule reigns supreme over the other. In the Android world, it just turns out that, you know, Samsung pretty much dominates in the Android world. And then iOS iPhone is obviously it's no slouch. It's, it's it's awesome and it does it does really well. So, you know, there's room for both, and I, there's always going to be those articles because it's it's really fun to pit devices, you know, pit pit two companies against each other. It is fun. And, <laughs> see, it's true. It's it's a good discussion to be had, and I mean, it's also it's also a legacy discussion. When the iPhone first came out. There was, okay, well, um, we've heard about this Android. Is this going to be, you know, kill the iPhone? I've been hearing about iPhone killers since the moment, you know, Android began and, and iPhone began. It's just it's just the way it is, and I, I don't think it's going away. But but I don't think it's absolutely necessary or, or accurate reflection of what's happening here. Samsung's still putting out amazing hardware. I mean, this thing looks really nice, and they've done a really great job um, with with kind of putting in meaningful features, which can't ha hasn't always been the case with Samsung, in my opinion. A lot of times they put in these features that may look good on paper or may look good demonstrated on a stage, but then when you get it, you have a really hard time realize, understanding why you would ever use it, mm -hmm. you know, getting in the habit of it or whatever. So they're starting to make more meaningful uh, changes. Improved 8 megapixel front-facing camera. So higher resolution front-facing camera with autofocus face detection because they say, hey, people are taking a lot of selfies. Might as well make them look good. Um, mobile HDR display, mobile HDR premium certification, first device to have that. So high dynamic range on the phone. Samsung always has great looking displays on their, on their flagships. Really um, curious to see what it looks like. And so the Pixel does not have a physical home button, right? No. 
Does no. it have a home button at all? Uh, so the fingerprint uh, sensor on the back, even in a screen off state, I can just touch that with my finger and that, so that could be considered a home button. Although if I'm on a different screen and I touch the fingerprint sensor, that's not going to take me no. home. It will show you all my notifications. <laughs> Check that out. Um, <laughs> And no, it, it doesn't. I mean, it, it's a software. It's more of a capacitive home button down at the bottom right. there, as you can see. I can tap that if I... Right, yeah, yeah now I, I remember. Yeah, yeah, I'm interested in what you'll think of the um, the home button, the, the fake sort of 3D touch home button on the Samsung phone. I really liked 3D touch on uh, on the uh, on yeah. the iPhone, yeah. which was one thing that I did not expect to really use that much. Mm -hmm. So when I saw this, I was like, Bravo. Like, yeah. I, I, want, I would love to see more of that. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like magic because whenever my phone is off and I try to press the button, on, which is not a button, right. and I realize it's not a button, and it's like, oh, you're, you really get tricked into believing that this is a home mm -hmm. button and that you're pushing something when it's not, you're not really pushing anything. It's right. crazy. Yeah, it's cool like that. Yeah. Um, I mean, and that's, that shows that it works, right? Mm -hmm. uh, S8 is $750. S8 plus $850. Uh, pre-orders start tomorrow. If you pre-order, well, I'll get to that in a second. You get a little gift, uh, but it releases April 21st.